Excel podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel podcast episode 1637, some which month with offset. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel netcast. I'm Bill John. I was talking to uh, Ron. Ron's trying to pick up offset. He says, you know, this is so confusing. And he was asking me about uh, using offset to get a variable uh, length range. And they says, well, okay, well, what about these second and third arguments? I said, well, hang on, Ron. I was just in Switzerland and they have the, all these different Swiss Army knives and a Swiss Army knife can do a dozen different things but here's the thing with a Swiss Army knife, you are never going to use this blade and this blade at the same time, right? You're going to use a Swiss Army knife for one thing, have one blade open and use it that way. If you try and use a Swiss Army knife with three blades open, you're going to get hurt and offset is the same way, all right? We're either going to use the second and third arguments of offset or the fourth and fifth arguments of offset. Uh, it's rare to use all of them at once, so don't think about all of those other tools you have. We're thinking about just the issue today. So here I have six departments, uh, 12 months going across and someone needs to be able to come here and enter a date, so 331, and we want to pull up the total of that particular month. All right, so I don't know in advance what date they're going to put in. Uh, depending on what date they put in, I have to grab one of these 12. Could I solve this with an if? Oh, geez, I guess I could, but it would be something really ugly, like equal if the month of this is equal to 1, then sum this range. Otherwise, if the month of this is equal to 2, then some, you know, this right. You can just imagine how bad this is going to be that we're going to have 12 if statements. It wouldn't even work back in Excel 2003. And while it would work here uh, in Excel 2007 and newer, it's not something we want to do. So uh, the offset will allow us to do this. With the offset, I know that we're always going to start from this cell, A6. Uh, we're going to go down zero rows and then we're going to go over some number of columns. How many columns over? Uh, it's the month of F1. So right now, March 31st, the month of that is 3, from here we go over 1, 2, 3, and then how large of a range do we want to add up? Well, in this case, always 6 rows, 1 column, all right, so I I know, I know, I'm just going to build a, um, not a formula here, just, I know that we're going to start from A6, we're going to go down 0 rows, we're going to figure out the month, it's always going to be 6 rows tall, 1 column wide, I know that. All right, so the, the variability in this, the tool that we're using here in this particular uh, version of offset is that it's going to be a different number of columns over. Everything else is, is stuff I know, right? I could just build a, a sum function if it wasn't for the fact that I don't know how many columns over to go. All right, so let's take a look at the formula that I have here. Uh, we're always starting from A6, we're going zero rows down, you know, this is not even being used. It's, it's one of those blades of the Swiss Army knife that we're not opening for this particular technique. Uh, it's going to be six rows tall, it's going to be one column wide, and then how many columns over from here do I want to use? I want to use the month of F1. So right now, uh, the month of F1 is three, let's just use my Gervin's trick there, I'll select that, press F9, it's three, Control-Z. If I come here and change this to 1231, then the month of F1 is going to be 12. All right, why did I choose to start from A6? Because I'm lazy. If I would have started from B6, I would have had to take the month and subtract one, and I didn't want to have to subtract one. That's why I started from here. What if we didn't have column A? Well, yeah, then I'd have to start from here and use the month of F1 minus one because I have to go over one less. Could I have started from here? Uh, yeah, but geez, that would make my head hurt. We would be using negative columns and it wouldn't be the negative of the month. It would have to be negative 13 minus the month or something like that. You could start from wherever you want, but start from the easiest spot. Month is going to give us the numbers 1 through 12, so that's where we go. Uh, offset. It's confusing if you try and use all the blades at once. It can be used for so many different things. It's usually we just have one bit of that offset that is going to change uh, and uh, you know, that's the one that you're focusing on. Well, I want to thank Ron for sending in that question. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another podcast, Mr. Excel.